hello everybody in this video we will learn that how we can create a realistic material for our games environment so uh, actually I was creating a material for road and I was thinking that uh, why not to share uh, with you the whole process so there is a tool called materialize so with this tool we can create uh, different maps okay so like normal maps high height maps etc so this is a very nice tool and you can uh, it's open source as well you can download this materialize for windows 64 bit and also you can go to tutorials and uh, you can learn how you can use this uh, tool so we will after installing the materialize we will open materialize and here we can just uh, click on uh, this diffuse maps and here we we will open the diffuse map okay so here is the o option for open if we click here we can be we can now load our image texture which we want to convert to with uh, convert to several maps so here I have textures and here we have these three textures so let's uh, choose anyone so for example this one and you can see this is our texture and we can zoom out this texture also we can uh, rotate this texture like this to analyze its uh, quality so here it is it's a very simple texture with not too much uh, resolution so uh, this is it so now we can create certain maps for this texture so for creating the map we can click on each map for, uh, for uh, first of all we will create height map so we'll click here height map and now you can see that this shaded area is actually the height map area okay so we can also uh, move the slider to look it in detail so this is the default height map uh, and we can uh, make different uh, settings uh, regarding to this height map as well so for example if we choose this place if we choose funky it will be funky uh, with cracks if we use uh, it's with cracks we will keep it default so like this we can uh, do some other things as well final contrast we can increase we can I will make it like this I think and not too much contrast we need and final gain we can increase or decrease whatever you want the uh, standard options are uh, quite good okay the standard defaults so after making your own settings you can click on set as height map so now this height map is created similarly we can create normal map and you can see normal map like this and you can uh, make it smooth you can make it crisp okay you can make it the uh, mids uh, and I will keep it default so also you can make certain uh, more changes in uh, this final contrast you can increase or decrease I will keep it 5 so after that uh, you can set normal map as well similarly we can add metallic map as well so we can create metallic and you can see that now uh, metallic uh, instance is uh, intensity is too much okay so we will decrease the intensity a little bit so I think uh, contrast should be decreased a little bit to something like this and uh, we can also add blur and but I will not uh, add the blur so uh, we will keep it like this so now you can see this was our old version and if we uh, click here show full material 
we we can see the final version okay which is quite bad actually so yeah because final version is you can see that it's realistic the final version is realistic quite realistic but uh, this height map actually uh, this is not good so if we delete height map I think that is creating uh, some problems and metallic map as well so yeah so actually we didn't create a metallic map I think so let's make it set metallic map and for height map we will create height map as well and we will keep it uh, default uh, uh, height map we will keep it default yeah and set as height map and then we can see the final result ah, now it's quite nice and brightness is quite good okay so in this way we can create our maps you can create your own maps and uh, with your own settings so after this we can save these maps so for saving each map we can click here on s, s option and then we can move to this uh, desktop and here we can save this so uh, we will name it normal map normal sorry not normal it was height map and like this we can save each map and then we can use it in unity okay now we will see that how we can make materials from these maps inside unity so we will drag drop this dirt road I'm dragging drop this inside resources and then materials okay uh, because we are following easy roads uh, road and we will create a material inside easy road so inside roads we will drag drop this folder inside roads so now in roads you can see that we have this only one material and we want to create another material for this road or any other road so uh, we have collected these uh, maps now we can create a new material create and we will name uh, we will select material and we will say dirt road for example dirt road red it's a little bit reddish material so uh, now uh, here inside a material setting we will drag drop our main map main texture to albedo okay and then we will drag drop this uh, height map into height map section uh, we will drag drop this metallic to metallic and normal map to normal uh, one uh, another thing whenever you add a normal map there uh, it's not converted initially so we, we have to click this fix now option okay so now our material is ready we can apply this material in on our road so let's select this road and just for testing purpose and now uh, we will just drag drop this material inside road material so now you can see that we have a new material and it's a quite uh, bright due to certain maps we can decrease the height map and if we uh, sorry if we decrease with thing smoothness yeah then it will be a little bit normal okay and inside this view we can uh, can't analyze our road properly and if we run the game you will see that it will be fine this material will be fine on the road so let's see let's run the game and you will see that the material is quite nice in game view okay 
so it's taking some time because I have built a big train just for testing purpose so now you can see that road material is quite nice okay so that's it for adding creating materials and maps for unity uh, in next video we will move further goodbye